All right, Scotty Bear, back with their video. This video about driving around Mexico with expired plates and what to do about it. Now, this is a particularly important video because if you spend any time in Baja, California, this is likely the issue that you will face at some point. I know a few of my uh, viewers have asked about this because frankly, if you go deep into Mexico, say Cabo, La Paz, um, I mean, even Ensenada, it's a, it's a hundred mile turnaround trip. And um, normally you gotta try to pass in off hours so, so you're not adding three or four hours to your trip by waiting in line say if you left here at nine in the morning and there is an, a weird chance that maybe you just kind of skate through and if you go down here long enough you'll watch the line and stuff like that which i do not i do not i stay fuck that crossing shit people ask me how do you live in uh in sonata honestly or how do you move to mexico honestly you just get up and move I don't know the exact population over here, but it's what, 600,000 people live here. Uh, you don't think you can? A buddy of mine was telling me, okay, he lives in Phoenix. He's like, oh yeah, my nut is like $3,700. And, and I go, oh, so you can't live in Ensenada, Mexico for 600 bucks. I say, bullshit. I say anybody can live in Mexico. The worst thing you can do is actually cross because when you cross, you start costing yourself more money. So uh, there's that. And um, so this is the number one problem. Back to my original thing is expired license plates. So what happens when you have expired license plates in Mexico? Uh, almost nothing. Um, there is a situation where uh, there is a situation where um, you could get pulled over. But if you're an American, um, it, it means nothing. The cops will do absolutely nothing. I would say majority of the Americans have uh, insurance on their car. I mean, virtually it costs me $20 a month. So even in the worst case scenario, if you're American, you're almost crazy for not having insurance. So the car is insured. So, how do you renew your plates being in Baja? Okay, there is a couple ways you could do this. One is you could change your plates to South Dakota. Now, this is not, you know, anything that's not unwidely known to people who stay in Baja any real time. Because you'll run into somebody with uh, South Dakota plates and start asking questions because... In the back of your mind, your registration is about to expire. So there's at least 10% chance your registration is going to expire within a month. Because obviously there's 12 months a year. And uh, maybe this is your lucky month. Um, so you can change the plates to South Dakota. South Dakota for about $150, you could register your car to an address in Mexico, and actually even to a P.O. box in the United States. That is way number one. And um, really, that is probably the go-to way of most uh, people that stay long-term in Baja. The next way is importation. Uh, there are some Americans that have managed to buy an imported vehicle. Actually, it may be at least smart to buy a vehicle in Mexico to some degree if you're looking to spend more money because you could certainly own a car in Mexico. The third way is that close to the border and the um, the place have, has probably moved, but you'll have to walk over the border. You'll park the car on the Tijuana side. You'll walk over the border and there's a little hut there that says DNV and you can get a 10 day permit to take the car wherever uh, you want to go. So the next thing would be selling the car. Selling the car in Tijuana is possible if that you have the actual um, the actual uh, 
you know, title, which I purposely brought the title because your car may be just slightly more valuable. A, a lot of people bring their car to Mexico because the check engine light is out. And, and, and that's kind of while, uh, you know, the reason I took the car to Mexico is because, you know, it may make it this year, but it's probably not going to make it next year. And to insure the vehicle, it was costing me like $800 a year. And that is for a liability insurance. I've never had anything silly happen to me in the United States. No real wrecks or anything. Uh, I was hit twice by a drunk driver in uh, the United States. And um, actually in broad daylight in the morning time. So um, that's the only thing insurance wise. And it was their fault. So... I never had dealt with that. So I paid ridiculous rates. And actually, of those rates that I paid, um, Nevada was particularly ridiculous. Uh, the cost started to drop. Once I went to Albuquerque, they're like, oh, your insurance is about $45, $50. So I was like, oh, okay. That's a pretty decent deal considering the 160 for Nevada. And that's a liability. That's what's absolutely nothing. That, uh, I don't know even what ridiculous protections that would give me. Oh, man, the uh, speed bumps are on level 10. So uh, here I am just driving down the road trying to get to my next uh, coffee shop. I, I did connect on the weed. People ask me a lot about the weed, too. Um, number one, I do not cross marijuana in general. The risks are too big. Not necessarily for Mexico, but, uh, you know, if, if you, wow, this is the fucking speed bumps or not the speed bumps, the potholes. So, uh, the risks are too big. It's not worth crossing even a little bit of weed in my mind. I know, actually, I know a guy who crossed meth, not like uh, meth in the, uh, you know, lots of meth just for his own personal use. I mean, that's all he did. Not like he lived in Mexico, but uh, he had a truck and he helped me out. And, and, and I'm like, don't bring no drugs. And, and he's like, okay. I'm like, he perfect. He's perfectly fine with, uh, that. Uh, and you know, I don't believe his risks are like that big, but, uh, a story I've told before is me and Chica, have been waiting in line before smoking a J because the line is ridiculous. And we're smoking a J in line. No no one cares, by the way. No one gives a shit. But I'm smoking a J in the line. And once you get like within the final 10, 15 cars, there, there's a barricade that comes up and that barricade is they'll run the dogs through that line. And one time they flew open Chica's door and she started crying because she thought, oh, fuck, we're, we're headed to jail for sure. So uh, there's that. Personally, um, if you're looking for an idea, believe it or not, to register your vehicle in the United States, which I, I know is probably appealing, uh, I've heard that uh, it's really easy to register your car in um in Bullhead City, I think you could register it for multi years over there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I will talk to you later.